Hello there, in this video, I'm going to teach you how you can use Perplexity AI. First of all, head over to their website. Over here, you can just directly ask it anything. And go ahead with it. For example, if you just want to ask a simple question like budget travel tips and tricks. You click it and it will answer. Once it's answering, it will actually give you your sources. Down here in the sources tab, it will show all the sources that it has used. And in your actual answer, you can find these little circles with digits in them and if you click them it will actually take you to the source that it has used for this specific sentence or paragraph under that it will also give you some images relating to the topic and all the way down here you can also ask related questions to your topic like how to find cheap flights and accommodations if you just click it it will answer it for you on the left, you can actually find the new thread page. Over here, over here, you can just create a new thread. And one good thing about this is that you can actually choose where you want your sources to be from. For example, if you go into the focus tab, it will give you a bunch of different places perplexity can search. On default, it is set to search across the entire internet. But otherwise, you can actually choose it to search from YouTube, Reddit, or published academic papers. If you just want to generate an essay or maybe a narrative, you can actually just click this writing tab and it will generate text for you without searching the web. You can also hit their file option and upload a PDF or text file. With this, you can upload a file and then ask questions relating to that. For example, you just upload the random essay you have and you have some questions relating to that. You can upload it first and then ask questions and it will use that essay as a source to answer you. We can try this by going over to new thread, hitting the focus and I'm going to search within Reddit, for example. Yeah. And you can see all your sources are from Reddit. Under here is your answer. You can see the sources cited in between your answers like this. Just click it and it will take you to the actual Reddit form. Where this was asked. On the left you can find your home page. It just takes you to the default home page of Perplexity. Under that is the discover page. Over here you can discover community asked questions that are answered by Perplexity. After that is the library. Over here, all the questions that you have asked are saved. But in order to save them, you need to be logged in first. Under that is the login page. You can obviously continue with Google or Apple or just continue with email. If you don't have an account, you can sign up by hitting this blue sign up button. It's the same process. Under that is the try pro tab. If you want to upgrade to ChatGPT 4 instead of ChatGPT 3 or like Cloud 2, you have to pay for their paid trial. Otherwise, you're stuck with using ChatGPT 3 for your answers. You can also download the mobile application over here. You can find their Twitter using this X button or you can go over to the Perplexity Discord by hitting this Discord key. That sums up the video. Thank you for watching and goodbye.